the cemetery walls under heaps of trash. Outside here, it is named Al Sadaka grave. This is Al Sadaka graves. It is for unknown people. So where you don't know the identities? We don't know their uh, names, nationalities. We have no data about them. So we have three lines here, and uh, it is covered around 300, uh, 400, uh, 350, 400 bodies. 400, 400 bodies here? Yeah. Alazazi tells me a story of the man who occupies this simple grave, a grave marked only with a single stone. This is the resting place for a man he met just before he died, Issam Abdullah Mohammed, a 20-year-old refugee from Darfur in Sudan. He was shot by Egyptian border guards trying to cross over to Israel in June. Al-Azazi recorded a conversation with him just an hour before his death. These were among his final words. How did you get from Cairo to here in Sinai? Arab Bedouins brought me here. Issam stated the Bedouins left him and other refugees at the border and the Egyptian army fired at them as they attempted to jump the fence. Abdullah Mohammed's death is far from unusual. Egyptian border guards have shot dead many refugees. Egypt has said it's targeting smugglers and criminals, not refugees. In the legal case involving Conrad Murray, the former physician of the iconic pop star Michael Jackson, the jury had evidence from 49 witnesses over 23 days. They included Murray's girlfriends and patients, some of Jackson's former employees, investigators as well as medical experts. CNN's Casey Wayne, who's been covering the case, was asked about when the verdict could be expected. Hard to speculate about. You just never know how these things are going to go. There were, as you mentioned, 49 witnesses. This trial lasted for six weeks. It is Friday, so human nature plays into it. You might expect that, that if this jury is anywhere close to a consensus, they may try to wrap things up today. But as I said, this has been a long trial. There's been a lot of witnesses, a lot of evidence, so it's very conceivable it could go well into next week. Now, yesterday, we heard that uh, the uh, prosecution and the defense delivered arguments in this case. First off was the prosecution, which was very, very powerful. They laid out their contention that Dr. Conrad Murray is criminally responsible, was criminally negligent in Michael Jackson's death because he gave him that powerful anesthetic protocol outside of a hospital setting. Perhaps, though, his most powerful argument was when he talked about the emotional impact of this case on Michael Jackson's family. The evidence in this case is abundantly clear that Conrad Murray acted with criminal negligence, that Conrad Murray caused the death of Michael Jackson, that Conrad Murray left prints, hair, and blanket without a father. That argument so powerful that uh, many of Michael Jackson's fans who were outside the courtroom, applauded the prosecutor after he delivered that uh, uh, closing argument. Now, the defense countered with its assertion that it was absolutely... Well, time now to take another break. We'll be right back, so please stay tuned in. Time now to take a look at the weather report, courtesy of the Central Forecast Office.
endowed with a wonderful landscape full of baobab trees. Like its key point in Bacau, it is one of the most exotic sceneries in the world. The baobab tree is a symbol of resilience, wisdom, and resourcefulness. For the baobab tree provides good food in times of hunger, rents its back for medications, and its sap for glue. In the Gambia, there is a company like the Bobab Tree, 100% African and purely Gambian in all aspects. In know-how, design, value, capital, and management. That company is Elton. Elton, employing hundreds of Gambians and proudly associating itself with development in the Gambia. Elton, side by side with the Gambia. Good evening viewers, welcome to the weather forecast. First we begin with the summary followed by the forecast. The day today was mostly cloudy and humid. We now take a look at the image captured at 16.30 hours, indicating the presence of scattered convective clouds over Gulf of Guinea states, Central, East and South Africa. Elsewhere we remained dry and stable during the period. For the forecast tonight, we'll be expecting humid and mostly cloudy conditions to prevail over the entire country, whilst the day tomorrow will be warm and partly cloudy. Winds will continue to be northwesterly in orientation, but generally light to moderate in speed. For the minimum temperatures, we'll be expecting 18 degrees Celsius over Karawan, Yundum, Banjul, Sibano, Jinoy, Janjambure, Base, and Fatota will record 22 degrees Celsius, while Skawur and Sapo will be 23 degrees Celsius warm tomorrow morning. For the maximum temperatures, we'll be expecting 30 degrees Celsius over Yundum, 32 over Banjul, 35 over Kerawan, Sibano, Junoy will record 34 degrees Celsius, as well as Sapo, Jenyambure, Base, and Fatoto. Kawur will be 35 degrees Celsius warm tomorrow afternoon. For those going to the sea, we'll be expecting a low tide of 0 0.50 meters at 12.18 p.m. And for the high tides, we'll be expecting 1.51 meters at 0.603 a.m. And also 1.39 meters at 0.655 p.m. For the wavelengths, we'll be expecting 1 to 2 meters high, and there will be northwesterly swells. The sun will rise at 7 in the morning and will set at 18.38. Thanks for watching, and happy Tobaski in advance. Before we go, a reminder of our headlines. Commonwealth heads of state and government have pledged to enhance sustainable development and gender equality. Delegates attending the West African Road Safety Organization's third annual general meeting are deliberating on strategies geared towards reducing the number of fatal road accidents recorded in Africa. Illegal migrants in search of greener pasture are meeting their deep end, their end deep in the Sinai Desert. And after a trial that lasted 23 days and evidence given by 49 witnesses, Michael Jackson's former physician is now waiting to know his fate. You can follow that story and other GRTS programs live on www.grts.gm. There you can also monitor GRTS radio live. That's all in the news. Thank you very much for your time. And Yuni Nenla is next. Bull Amate Ben Jahle, the Qsal Asil Nala Q currency. Legi Axe Qsal Line B, Dingamuna Yuni SMS, Purham Yatel and Yujende, Wala Jaya Dolobi, Pound Starling, Euro, Sefa, and Halisi Yenin Dekai Che Adunabi. Yonel Blank SMS, Wala CURR C422, Runga Jo Exchange Rate C, Major Currency C Adunabi. Q currency the Nalawa Nyata La Bena Halis the Wecheko Sibanen. Visit our website www.qsol.gm.